If you're a pitcher looking to build strength and endurance throughout the rotator cuff and scapular muscles, then this video is for you. I want to go over with you guys today three plyo ball movements that I do with pitchers throughout the rehab or arm care or arm care programs that works on building strength and endurance throughout the back of the shoulder, primarily the rotator cuff and the scapular muscles. So what you'll need, I have here a weighted ball. This is about one, about one pound. If you have a ball, a, a ball of this weight, that works great. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than two pounds at most if it's your first time doing it because it's gonna be very tough and very taxing on your shoulder when done properly. But if all you have is a baseball, that works too. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lie on our side. I like to have something like a bolster here. You can use a pillow, really anything to kind of just give your neck a little bit of support so your neck doesn't get stiff and held in uh, awkward position. So you're gonna be lying on your side to start. Head supported by the bolster. Knees are gonna be bent. We're gonna keep that core engaged the entire time. So what I don't want is we don't want our legs flying around everywhere or our core flying around. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna have our arm at our side, our shoulder blade down and back as well. And we're not gonna be in full rotation. We're gonna be just above neutral here. Neutral here. And all I want us to focus on is just quick, continuous drop. So the goal is we're not trying to let it drop down towards the table. We're trying to just do continuous drops in this same position here. Keeping that shoulder blade engaged the entire time. Again, what we don't want for this drill is we don't want it dropped down towards the table. Once we feel comfortable with that, we're able to do it at a good pace with, with good form the entire time, then we can work towards more eccentric variations. So we're getting more of that eccentric stress throughout that entire arc. So for that, you're gonna start up here, you're gonna drop and catch down. And then as you get better, you can kind of increase the pace where you're really letting go of the ball as you bring your arm up so you're catching it at that same time. The last one that I'll do as kind of a foundational movement for guys is I'll have their arm straight out to the side. I don't really have the shoulder blade down and back here. I have their arm and their shoulder blade punched out in front of them. That ear is not from the shoulder. It's just straight out in front. And from there, we just do quick, continuous drops. Again, this is gonna be a lot more challenging because you have a longer lever and a longer arm for your shoulder muscles to control. And again, for this one, we're just trying to keep these continuous drops right out front of them. We're not trying to let the ball drop down there like that. That's a little bit more advanced for some guys. So those are three introductory plyo ball drills that I'll use for pitchers throughout rehab or an arm care process to work on building strength and endurance throughout that rotator cuff and scapular muscle, muscle, musculature.